Welcome to Hacking with Python 1. What is brute forcing? Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. A brute force attack, or also known as an exhaustive key search, is known in cryptography as the process of trying all possible keys rather than decrypting the key. Systematically, every possible combination is tried until the correct and matching key is found. The time taken to search every possible solution increases exponentially with the key's length. To shorten the time, we use dictionaries. Dictionaries are a list of common passwords or keys. However, a brute force attack has limits. With increased cryptography technology, keys such as 256, 512, 1024 and even 2048 bit are deemed safe from brute, for brute force attacks. Even with a series of today's supercomputers, a 256 bit key is estimated to take 3 times 10 to the 51 years. A dictionary brute force attack is always much faster than that of a full key search, however it is not guaranteed to produce a successful key. If this happens, another dictionary could be used or possibly a different approach is required. Dictionaries are usually most successful with passwords because people find it easier to remember words rather than a random sequence of length 8 to 16. A lot of great dictionaries can be found online, such as the dark code list, which is quite popular and has also been quite successful in the past. It contains 1.7 million passwords and keys. With a 4 to 8 core CPU, it will take roughly 2 hours to complete the whole list. I have a copy of the list in the tutorials folder in the description. Smaller dictionaries are great, are great to use too. Making your own or using others are possible ways to obtain these. Usually you'll want to keep it low in words for quick completion before resulting to a large dictionary like dark code. If you can there, you can eliminate the most common passwords and even the default passwords for certain devices. Looking at a manufacturer's website, you can find the default password for their model of device in the support section. You'll be surprised how many people do not change the pa default passwords. The most common passwords are admin, password and welcome. If one of these passwords are set for your wireless router's web interface, I suggest changing it immediately. Offline attacks are hard to be prevented, because the attacker has all the time they need to crack the key. To be able to perform an offline attack, you require the hashed key as well as knowing the method used to hash the key. So you can reproduce the hashing procedure to try and match the hashed keys. The hashing system can sometimes be hard to discover. Online attacks are trying to attack login screens of websites, usually. These can be prevented most of the time with attempt restrictions, for example only allowing 3-4 to four attempts before locking out for 12 hours or something, or even detection systems if more than 5 attempts are made in less than 30 seconds lock the account and notify an admin. Obviously online attacks are easier to detect with so many requests slowing the website as well as triggering some sort of notification system. However online attacks still work sometimes as people are forgetful and don't think of security. It's possible to build cracking machines, the purpose of fast processing, allowing you to speed up the cracking process. The majority of the time these are an array of GPUs which the work is split over to find a solution much quicker. These can be quite expensive and use more power to run, so keep that in mind. I hope you now have a better understanding of what a brute force attack is. Don't fear if you don't remember all this, you can easily come back and rewatch the video to consolidate any of the information you've learnt. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Next, we'll be writing a Unix password cracker using a brute force attack. Thanks for watching.